soul and African grooves that had an influence on the birth of what we now call funk music. It wasn't until the 1960s and 70s that we can point to landmark artists such as James Brown, who helped define a new sound with a strong rhythmic bass line, a hard grooving drum line, and interlocking rhythm instruments. One particular group made headlines with a song that was originally released in 1979 on their album, I Am. The song gained popularity more recently in the 2002 feature film, Drumline. Here's the hit song by Earth, Wind, and Fire, In the Stone. Da, da, da. of the classic five lineup of The Temptations and Stevie Wonder. Sit back and relax as you enjoy The Temptations' 1964 release of My Girl and Stevie Wonder's classic hit from 1976, Isn't She Lovely?
Masters Association would like to thank the Thunder Wolves Marching Band for two performances today. It is our pleasure to present an award of appreciation to Dr. Alan Mills, director, and drum majors McKenna Green, Ryan Stradle, and Nicole Lemmy. Please give the Thunder Wolves a hand. The Thunder Wolves will now close their show with another song by Bruno Mars that spent 14 consecutive weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100. It became the second best-selling single of 2015 and received two Grammy Awards, including Record of the Year. Having accumulated more than 3.2 billion views on YouTube.com, it's now the fifth most viewed YouTube video of all time. Here is Uptown Funk. <laughs>
students now qualify for a four-year marching band scholarship worth seven thousand dollars. We're going to be here for a while, fellas. For more details or contact the director of bands for additional requirements and information. Don't forget to like the Thunderwolves Marching Band on Facebook. Let's hear it again like for the CSU Pueblo Thunderwolves Marching Band. Band.